The FDA has released new guidelines on an anti-malaria drug that's being used on some COVID-19 patients. Plus, our reviewers are concerned about mosquitoes and the coronavirus. Carol 7 Matthew Smith is helping you separate fact from fiction. It's been a bit warmer out, and that may mean mosquitoes in your neck of the woods. One of our viewers has some concerns. So, the statement, as we move towards warmer weather, mosquitoes could spread coronavirus. That's fiction. And we've got some good data on this from the World Health Organization. They addressed this in their MythBuster sections earlier this year. They say mosquitoes are not a threat. Next up, hydroxychloroquine. You've heard a lot about this anti-malaria drug, a ton actually, after the president said that we needed to give it a closer look. The FDA even authored an emergency use authorization allowing it to be used inside hospitals, including some in our area. There's new information out now from the FDA, so let's review what we've previously said. The statement reads, hydroxychloroquine can be helpful to COVID-19 patients. This remains undetermined. So the FDA has put out a new alert. It changes some of the thinking here, but they're still testing it. So it's a little too soon to say fact or fiction. But in Friday's update, they did say this, quote, hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine have not been shown to be safe and effective for treating or preventing COVID-19. Next, let's talk about the virus and its effect on the people who get it. Reminder, we talk about flu-like symptoms in some cases because we've seen some crossover on these types of things. A viewer writes, coronavirus, COVID-19, only affects the respiratory system. This is fiction. No, this is a respiratory virus, and the most common symptoms are things like sore throat, fever, and a dry cough, according to the CDC. But we've heard of other symptoms too, right? Anosmia, or the loss of taste and smell. The World Health Organization added diarrhea to their symptom list recently. And as recently as this week, there have been reports about something being called COVID toes that doctors say needs more research. It has to do with rashes on the toes of some patients. So we will keep an eye on all of that as well. But in the meantime, I want to thank our viewers for flagging a number of new statements this week. I want you to keep them coming, and I will keep researching. We're here to help you separate fact from fiction. Matthew Smith. Cairo 7 News.